I want to see you at level 100. I want you to catch up today. Oh, there's going to be consequences. Oh my god. Somebody bought out all of my Dark Moon Dagmore. I just made 56,000 gold. I'm so in one sale. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. It's me, Closure, and today we're going to be talking about the Dark Moon Dagamore. This fish has really been selling well for me these last couple of months, so I thought I'd show you guys why they are worth farming and how best to farm them. Feel free to subscribe to stay up to date with all things World of Warcraft and to follow me over on Twitch, link down in the description below. Let's get on with the video. So first off, the Darkmoon Fair comes once every month for about a week. The fish we're farming is found in the waters around the fair. Now you may be wondering what's so good about this fish. Well, what makes it popular is what it can be traded for at the fair. The Darkmoon Dagamore can be turned in for a variety of cool items, like this rare mount or this day old donut. Now I try to stay away from gold per hour calculations because prices differ per server and realm, but I advise you to check your local auction house if it sells for 30 gold or more, then personally, I'd be all over this farm. But remember that prices do change depending on whether the Dark Moon Fair is active. I find that the prices on my realm increase when the fair ends, which doesn't make much sense to me because the vanity merchant Galissa Sundu, who accepts the currency, is only available during the Dark Moon Fair. I'm not sure what these buyers could be doing with the fish when the fair is over, and I don't think I want to know either. Now, I'm not sure about you guys, but fishing isn't really the most engaging type of farm, so I'm always doing something else like watch Netflix or Twitch when I'm fishing. I'm going to show you how you can easily fish these Dagamores up while pretty much being absolutely AFK. First, download Fishing Buddy if you haven't already. There's an option in it called Enhance Fishing Sounds that's going to help you hear the fishing cues over whatever you have open in the background. Then, you're going to bind the fishing spell to whatever keybind you want. I've bound mine to one. Next, you're going to want to head on over to your keybinds and click on Targeting. Scroll down to interact with mouse over and bind it to your keybind of your choice. I've bound mine to two. Lastly, make sure you have the oversized bubba buff on at all times. It's going to make the clicking less frustrating. So as you can see here, I've put my bubba buff on and I've started fishing by pressing one. I've angled the camera in such a way that the bubba takes up most of the screen. That way, my mouse cursor is almost always over the bubba. When I hear the fish caught sound animation, I simply press 2 to catch and 1 to recast the line again. Rinse repeat this process for some easy lazy gold. If you're lucky, you will get some Dark Moon crates that can drop Dark Moon firewater. These sell for a nice sum on the auction house as well. You may also find some bloated threshers that can drop up to 10 Dark Moon Dagamores. Thanks for watching the video. If you guys liked the video and found it useful, please do subscribe, leave a like and a comment down below and let me know what you're doing in 8.3 to get the long boy or to save up for Shadowlands. Don't forget to follow me over on Twitch. I stream pretty much every day. Link down in the description below. My name's Closure and I'll make sure to see you guys in the next video. Cheerio.